Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Steam on Linux Mint 19.1. You can, of course, get it in the App Center if you just go here and type in Steam. But if it for some reason doesn't work for you or anything like that, I will give you an alternative option now on how to install Steam. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm giving you another option because I believe it's great to have more than one option. So I will go to the, you, you, you can see I'm at the main website and so this is the main Steam website and I'm going to download and install Steam directly from here. So I just say install Steam now and I will save the package and open file folder and now I will install this with GDaddy. The reason why I didn't install it directly, I once got or twice got the error or permissions when I just tried to open it up with GDaddy. So, but if you download it first, then install it and you can remove it afterwards, then everything works just fine. So we have to type in the password. It will, you will use your own password, not mine. My virtual machine password, and as you can see, it's busy installing Steam. And um, we can't close this package yet until the same version is, is already installed. Warning comes up and reinstall package. So now we know. Everything is done and we can remove this if you want to. And now we're just going to go to, and you will see game says appeared, and you can click on Steam. Now, if you run into any error with Steam, maybe just doesn't want to launch or anything, open up a terminal, type the word Steam, all small letters and press enter. And it will either launch Steam or give you an error message. If an error message, please send it to me and I will try to assist you. Or, or Google it. <laughs> and as you can see now, they want us to install a few more packages. It's not just free, it will be a lot more. It's all Mesa and things like that. It's all graphics and 32 bits libraries for Steam to work correctly. So as you can see, this might take some time. I'm going to press enter and while it's, going to, while it's going to download all this data and install it, I'm going to fast forward the video to make it slightly quicker. I will see you as soon as this is done. Fantastic, so now we have to press return, enter to continue. So now we just wait, there's a lot of waiting to do, so depending on your Computer speed and system, this might take longer or shorter. I'm running this in a virtual machine with 4 gigabytes of RAM, dual core, i5, second gen, processor, as well as an SSD. So as you can see, it's going to download a lot of data now, and then it's going to install it. So I'm going to fast forward this until this is done. So as you can see, we're basically done here. It's already downloaded everything and this is going to be done, finished in any second now. Then another pop-up screen will open up, like a little white one which is there for a few seconds. And then after that, we will let a few, wait a few more seconds and then Steam will start and you can do anything you want on it. It works perfectly. So as you can see, here's the last packets that needs to run. There's plenty of ways to install Steam on Linux, but this is from the official website, so I like it very much. And there was a time when it didn't, didn't want to work very well. It was but dated, but they really fixed up their own installation package, which is fantastic, so why not use it? So as you can see, you just have to wait a few more seconds. And this will also work on Cinnamon, Mate Cinnamon and XFCE. 
any actually any Debian based operating system. So as you can see, it launched and you can log in. You can enable Steam Play if you want to. And I'm just gonna check it as Arcan, the desktop Arcan, if it also works. So as you can see, everything works just fine and you can enjoy Steam. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.